It's about not how you not how you win. It's it's at times that you lose and how you come back from it. And my way of coming back is staying in your face, smiling, and you understanding that you can do it too. After Gervonta Davis attacked Devin Haney outside of a nightclub, Bill Haney retaliated angrily, threatening to sue him. Bill Haney didn't hold back in his critique of Tank Davis, highlighting his upbringing as a street kid without a paternal influence in stark contrast to his own son's well-nurtured upbringing. Surprisingly, Gervonta Tank Davis has shifted gears from social media jabs to real-world confrontation, escalating his feud with Devin Haney. Davis, often viewed as a disruptive force in the boxing world, has transcended boundaries, even encroaching into realms like female boxing. However, his antics have hit a formidable obstacle in the form of Bill Haney, a vocal figure unafraid to challenge Davis head-on. Bill Haney has long served as both manager and trainer for his son, Devin Haney, but his influence doesn't stop there. Unofficially, he's been Devin's spokesperson throughout his career, evident in their interviews, press conferences, and boxing matches. Bill's verbosity often outshines Devin's, with the father frequently speaking ten sentences to Devin's two. However, when Gervonta recently crossed paths with Bill Haney, he stirred up a storm. In a video capturing the altercation, not only Devin but also his older brother stood by, shouting back at Davis. This incident has raised concerns even among Davis's supporters. While trash talking is common in boxing, it's condemned when it descends into thoughtlessness and irrationality. Precisely the case with Gervonta Davis. He had taken the bold step of biting the largest finger that fed him in one of his most contentious antics. He had been trolled. Floyd Mayweather promised him a knockout and divulged some odd things about himself. He grabbed attention in the realm of female boxing with a virtual showdown against Clarissa Shields, the reigning undisputed champion. The clash stirred up a storm, with Shields firing back, but that's a tale for another time. Now the spotlight in the boxing world is squarely on the heated feud between Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney. Their animosity traces back several years to a fateful sparring session. Recently, Davis reignited the flames by taunting Haney on social media following his loss to Ryan Garcia. Taking it a step further, the 29-year-old Davis made a personal jab by posing with Haney's luxurious Mercedes-Benz G63 and flaunting it on his own social channels. A recently surfaced video captures the intense moment when Haney learns about his relocation, sparking a heated street confrontation between him and his adversary. Amidst a frenzy of incomprehensible insults, their respective teams intervene to separate them. Haney directs his frustration squarely at Davis, hinting at a potential future showdown in the boxing ring. Prior footage hinted at Davis's involvement in a separate altercation with Haney, though the details remain obscured. Nevertheless, the fiery exchange seems to stem from Davis's provocative social media post, igniting tensions and escalating the rivalry between the two fighters. Haney fired back, confirming ownership of the car and sarcastically quipping, Seems this guy loves my wheels so much he just had to snap a pic beside it. Drop him a line at Champion Motoring. Davis, who bested Garcia in 2023, has been targeting Haney with mocking taunts ever since, especially after Garcia's unexpected slump due to failed drug tests just before their pivotal clash. Davis even came to Garcia's defense, emphasizing, compare Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney to my bout with Ryan. If Garcia looked any different, he'd probably fare worse against Haney. He's bigger, slower, and only landed the same predictable punches I warned everyone about. They hailed him pound for pound. Please, he's nothing but a disappointment. Since the heated exchange, Bill Haney has been making regular appearances on various Instagram live streams, taking aim at Gervonta Davis. In his latest appearance, he didn't hold back accusing Davis of dodging a fight and resorting to street antics to impress his superiors. Haney made it clear that while his own life might not have been perfect, he's made sure his sons walk a different path. 
I didn't raise thugs, I raised respectable men, he emphasized. Haney didn't stop there. He questioned Davis's upbringing, suggesting that his wild behavior stems from a lack of parental guidance. He even went so far as to challenge Davis to a showdown, warning him of dire consequences if he dared to repeat such public displays of aggression. Haney taunted, you're lacking a father figure, and it shows. If you're so eager to throw down, let's do it properly. Get the contract, agree to fair terms, and let's settle this like adults. It's hardly shocking that Bill Haney didn't hold back in targeting both Floyd Mayweather and Adrian Broner with his jabs aimed at Gervonta Davis. Recently, he's found himself in heated exchanges with both of them. His showdown with Adrian Broner occurred prior to Devin Haney's bout with Ryan Garcia, during a time when Garcia was grappling with mental health issues. Bill Haney and Adrian Broner even squared off on a live Instagram session, exchanging verbal blows for all to witness. Adrian Broner and Bill Haney ignited tensions when Broner posted a photo on social media showing Bill Haney and Alicia Baumgartner, the undisputed female super featherweight champion, seemingly training together. However, the caption of the post didn't sit well with Haney. Broner implied there were plenty of other great trainers to work with besides Haney, going as far as to suggest Haney was ineffectual and making derogatory remarks about him. Broner even insinuated that Haney doesn't train his own son, implying that Baumgartner should distance herself from him. Bill wasn't about to let that slide, so he swiftly fired back on Instagram. Bill Haney didn't just retaliate, he took it up a notch, surpassing even Adrian Broner's expectations. Devin's father, no newcomer to verbal jousting, has a history of feuds in the boxing world to prove it. In response to Broner's jab, Bill claimed he's currently focused on Queen Alicia Baumgartner and that Broner got his wires crossed in this debacle. Drawing from past encounters with Broner, Bill added, where's he at now that he's swimming in cash? It's either about billions or it's about being broke. During a lively Instagram broadcast, Bill didn't hold back, flaunting his riches and issuing a bold challenge to Adrian Broner. He proposed a showdown of wealth, questioning whether it's all about billions or if being broke is the real deal. Starting at $25,000 per call, they'd each ante up $25,000 every hour to see who'd tap out first. Bill was swift to dispel any misconceptions about the origin of his wealth, emphasizing that he was well off long before his son stepped into the boxing ring professionally. I was cruising in a Rolls Royce long before my son even considered turning pro. Back when he was an amateur, I was already living that lifestyle, but you won't catch me flaunting it because it means nothing to me," he asserted. Adrian Broner's remarks didn't sit well with Bill Haney, evoking feelings of disrespect. However, he wasn't the sole recipient of such sentiments. Alicia Baumgartner shared similar sentiments. Reflecting on the incident, Bill Haney conveyed his reaction, emphasizing the collective discontent. They're upset because they recognize my authority. It's like a king having his reign challenged by another queen. Disrespectful. Acknowledging Alicia Baumgartner's prowess in her field, Haney lauded her achievements, affirming her status as a formidable force. In a stern rebuke directed at Broner, Haney condemned his derogatory remarks, emphasizing Baumgartner's financial success and competence. He added, you don't instruct an undisputed champion. It's grown folks' business, and you're out of line trying to advise her. You're not in her league financially or professionally. Adrian Broner made a surprise appearance during the live session, confronting Bill over what he perceived as disrespect. What ensued was a verbal clash where disrespect seemed to be the theme of the day, leaving everyone involved feeling slighted. It evoked memories of the tense press conference between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, where interruptions were the norm and completing a sentence was a challenge. Broner wasted no time in firing back, questioning the apparent disrespect and emphasizing that mutual respect should prevail in their interactions. Initially, Bill feigned innocence, questioning how he could be accused of disrespecting Adrian Broner. With evident reluctance, Adrian responded, indirectly implying that Bill's deliberate antics were transparent to all. Come on, man, you know what you're doing, bro, Adrian remarked, triggering Bill to abandon his charade. 
He swiftly asserted that he had always shown respect towards Broner, and if anything, it was Broner who had shown disrespect. I wasn't being disrespectful, I acknowledge you, Bill retorted, pointing out Broner's own breaches of respect. In his exchanges, whether in person or on social media, Bill had a knack for exposing truths and hidden motives. He saw the live session with Adrian Broner as an opportunity to shed more light on the contentious sparring session between his son, Devin, and Gervonta Davis. Bill confronted Adrian head-on, hurling accusations of disrespect for meddling in his affairs with comments on the leaked sparring tape. Adrian appeared unfazed, embodying the epitome of nonchalance as he deftly utilized the opportunity to taunt Devin Haney. However, Devin's father, much like his son, didn't take the humiliation lightly. Adrian brushed off Bill's allegations, retorting, I'm just speaking the truth, man. I ain't worried about your noise. But fueled by Broner's apparent indifference and dubious testimony, Bill unleashed a torrent of further accusations. Bill emphatically rejected the notion, exclaiming, I already told you what went down. But hey, at least you managed to ditch that ring, right? Despite Bill's earnest attempts to exonerate his son from the fallout of the leaked tape, Adrian remained unfazed. I ain't sweating that. All I know is no headgear, right? He remarked casually. He added, look, Ryan's dealing with his own issues. When you're ready to step into the ring with me, we'll be prepared. With that, Adrian Broner joined the ranks of fighters eagerly awaiting a shot at Devin Haney. Devin had amassed so many adversaries that he was becoming the most coveted boxer of this era. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.